Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review. And this and this time um, reviewing um, another another Disney film, which is another film that I uh, kind of say I, I, yeah I kind of I did grow up watching, and I thought I was having a I remember having a fun time while watching it growing up and. And this one is from the, the 1995 uh, film, Operation Dumbo Drop. Stars Danny Glover, Ray Liotta, Dennis Leary. I I enjoy the I enjoy the movie growing up, and I still have I still ha get enjoyment from it. And it's 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 a uh, it's another it's it's. Uh, it trying to do uh, it's a it's a start start starting my words again. <laughs> it's like a Disney war film because it said it said during the the Vietnam War, and you know with using Disney stuff, you know it's not all violent all that stuff. It's Disney. It doesn't do anything that stuff. So I do. It's, it's like a kid friendly. We can say it's a kid friendly war film. We can say I'm trying to put all this stuff together, but I keep on stuttering my words. But I enjoy it. I ha I have this on the old, an old VHS tape I have stored away. So, but I, I would show you it. But I do have it on a, still on the old VHS tape. And this it's fu it's fun. I do enjoy the cast. It has a pretty good cast. Like I said, Danny Glover, Ray Liotta, and Dennis Leary. Uh, other cast members uh, uh, supporting ones. You have Dougie Doug, and Corny Mick. Dougie Doug, I remember he was in the, in the Disney film with John Candy, Cool Runnings. Um, he had a he had a voice role in um, Shark Tale, and he was also in Eight Legged Freaks. And Corey Nemec, I've seen uh, he's been in a couple films and and in TV shows though. And it's directed, it's directed by Simon Winsor. For a few films, I do know that he's directed. He didn't direct. So he's directed a little bit, a, a little handful though, but not too many. But um, he for me, for me, Simon Winsor, like two years before this film, he directed Free Willy. Just so just from the director of Free Willy, and he also directed films called uh, Quick uh, Quigley Down Under. That's one with Tom, uh, Western with Tom Selleck. Um, he also directed Lightning Jack, was a another comedy western with Paul Hogan. Harley Davis. Uh, he also directed Harley Davidson and Marlboro Man. That's one with Mickey Rourke and um, um, Don Johnson. And he all, And then the year after this, he directed '96. He directed The Phantom with uh, Billy Zane. And they directed the, the third film, Crocodile Dundee in Los Angeles. And then The Young Black Stallion. So these are uh, some uh, uh, films that I recognize. Of course, the fame, the, the best. This is this is the second best, and the for me the best one was um, Free Willy. But if anyone knows from the director, it's it's Free Willy. But but the film it's it got it's it's mixed to negative. It has a what was it um. Has a 4.9 in IMDb and has a 30. Um, trying to see what I know. I know. I know. It has a, it has a 4.9 in IMDb and it's 30. It has a 31 percent Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's not that bad. But um. And it says it says it was like based on it was based on a story um, by United States Army Major Jim Morris because it says by the end of the film it, says it was it was inspired by true events so there's something had to involve with an elephant happened somewhere to make to sometime during that time like I said it's, it's said in the Vietnam War 1968 and it opens it with uh, Ray Liotta as um, Captain Doyle. And it's kind of funny because Ray Liotta in a Disney film 
usually film all the uh, films he's starring, you know, you know, swearing and all over the place. So it's kind of funny, funny him to kind of, you know, when he's yelling and screaming, you expect him to swear, but it's a Disney film, so it's kind of like an offer him, you know. But he's he's um he's on his way to this um v Vietnamese village, and he's flying by a helicopter to transport there. And I like for some. He's fine. He's eating like a, ne a Nestle's Crunch Bar, and then they have the song playing by the Spencer Davis group. You know, give me some lovin'. You know, uh, you got give me some lovin', give me some lovin', give me some lovin' every day. I watch. I like that song. I, it was like it was playing just, just when he's riding through the helicopter, and just I like that song. So it's a good song choice. Um. So he gets to the village, and because um, because with this with this uh, village of Dakne Dakne, I forgot how this village is pronounced, because it's like um, it's like it's like the way the monitoring monitoring their like uh, operations for weapon supply it's a supplies which which goes through the village. So it's something like that that they um, that they need the village for, and. Danny Glover as Kevin Cahill. Um, he's uh, Ray Liotta is going to be re is going to be his replacement. He's going to look after the village. While uh, Danny Glover was going to uh, be going on home. So, and then there was there then there is one of the one of the kids there because he had he got he had a crunch bar and he they steal it from him and. Then they then the enemies uh, the enemy soldiers come in by what was the name Colonel uh, ne ne Negan Negan uh, I was to say Negan but it's uh, Negan he um, he they, they find they find the candy wrapper and orders um, one of his men named uh, Quan. To kill the elephant, to kill their elephants, which they use in this um, spiritual ritual of some sort, and they're not happy about that. And so, but uh, Danny Glover promised them they'll give him a new elephant. And and then they and they go they go to they talk with uh, their ma their major, uh, which is actually the same guy. Um, I think this is the guy's name. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I was, as I was saying, um, by looking at who the guy was that I recognized, uh, it was he, um, who plays the, the, the major they were speaking to, um, he's the guy from, um, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, he was the gym teacher that got slashed in the showers, and... Uh, he was also a uh, role role in uh, Starship Troopers. He was the that general that um, with the other compounds. He was like a little, acting a little crazy, and when they shut down um, one of the flying insects, um, it goes uh, straight towards him. He's going no, no, and it just flies flies and it kills him. So yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, so that's who they were talking to. That the major was from Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two and Starship Troopers, for I remember him from. So. They agree to um to get them an elephant, and they take uh, two two men with them. One, a guy who's um uh, named Ashford. He's a guy in, who's an artillery, played by Dougie Doug. And he's kind of a little bit superstitious because he's close to going home, but he he didn't want to go on the mission so close to going home. And he has superstitious, you know, he's being a little has like a lucky rabbit foot and cross and all that, and. And then they get uh, a guy named uh, Farley, played by Corn Nemec. And then they get to um, um, uh, Pool, played by Dennis Leary, which he's kind of like a requ requ requisitions guy. Like you can, you know, he can get, he can basically get anything. Um. So, so you get the ask him if he can get them an elephant and. And which I, which he knows Kevin Cahill, which I, which I thought was kind of funny when, um, when he notices it, when he first knows Danny Glover, he's like, 
I was like, Dennis Lawyer goes, I thought you were dead. And uh, Dan Glover goes, you mean you hoped I was dead? <laughs> but uh, I, I, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so... Uh, they they fly out. They go to this uh, this village where they has the, where they have elephants. They talk to this guy, um, who agrees for for fifty thousand fiest uh, uh, whatever type of money he had, which is uh, actually an American money. It's kind of like a little over a hundred dollars, and and they give him, they give him an elephant named uh, Botat, and a female elephant with a with a boy named Lin who. Who takes care of Botat? Who who had his family? Looking, he had his family that was killed in the in the during the during the this war. Um, which saying that who who they're they're asking whose side was it who killed his family? And Bo and then the Botat saved him when he was little. And he's been looking after and he's they look after each other. So they 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 also agree to take um the boy with him because he doesn't belong anywhere. So they get to the, um, um, to the, to the airplane, to the airplane, and, and when one, there's, there's three guys on, the, for this airplane, and actually there's one of the guys I recognize, um, I know, I know, I've seen him in other films too, mainly, mainly I remember him from Alien 3, he was the guy who got his head crushed by that newborn. But I also know he's also been in uh, other films too. But I just mainly remember him from that though. But um, Raymond Cruz, that's the guy's name. Yeah, I also remember he had a little. He also had a supporting role, a little supporting role in the first Under Siege film. But I, like, I recognize the guy. He's been in films mainly for, but mainly Alien Three. And they're they're the, the, the guy who's the main guy who's flying is like um, oh you're not putting that on my plane unless it's dead. But um, Dennis Leary he got some stuff um, you know to give the elephant to go to sleep, which is water buffalo tranquilizer. It's like these huge pills. Well, the, they look like huge pills, but they're not. And which um and they're at, and Ray Liotta is asking, well how are we supposed to get her to swallow one of these things? And Dennis Lear is like, well, according to this, she's not supposed to swallow it. And which by means they have to shove it up the the, the of, of the elephants, which Dennis Lear says, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, I help you guys to get the, I help you guys to get the elephant, but putting my hand up an elephant's house wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> so they like, um, Daniel Club and Rayleigh, they have to do like, they say like odds or evens, which... It's kind of like rock paper. I don't know. If it's not. It's not like rock paper scissors. But I don't get. I don't ever get the whole thing's odds and evens and stuff like that. Ultimately, Ray Liotta loses. And he has to, to shove it up Botat's behind. So, and uh, the Lins I know Botat don't get on plane, and they, which he's not allowed it. But they uh, they take the Lin to let the the. the they take Lynn off the plane to let Botef fall in until he she lies down and falls asleep. So they go on there as they're, as they're flying. You know, Danny Glover, uh, Kevin Cahill, saying that you know he has um uh, his brother back get back home with a roofing company. He can't wait to go home. Um. And then uh, Cornemic accidentally trips. Uh, he actually trips and breaks the last um, pill. Um, so they assume they should not wake up for a little bit longer. But if she wakes up, starts moving the plane over, and the pilot is telling you know the guy to dump it, which they stop them from dumping the elephant. Then they get the ground, they leave, leave and Dennis Larry gets left behind with them. And the, the the village, the one of the villagers is telling, but the from the enemy soldiers, like uh, if I'm aware, when one guy is like, well, they ask you why, why an elephant, why are they bring an elephant, and one guy is like, speaking and being me, he's basically like, ah, the elephant is a symbol of the of the American Republic. 
um, Republican Party. And it's like, so? So? Nixon is Republican. It's like, oh, it's like, don't be silly, all that stuff. Um, but they know, but they know that they're, they're on there getting off to kill the one that, um, they killed already as a replacement, so they're going to try to stop them from going, breaching the village. Um, and then as they're, um, um, as they're move as they're as they're moving along, they see some people trying to pull off this big stump, and they um um the elephant the elephant's gonna help pull it out, which they do, and while well, Rayleigh thinks wasting time because they need a truck, and by the time they got the stump out, Danny Glover is asking, "What well, was like? Oh, how about an old diesel with a with a flatbed?" And he's like, "One of our develop development agencies gave him a tr um, gave him a truck." They can really afford gas, so they give it to us for pulling out the stump, and Ray, Ray Leo is looking like. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe the pull the stump was a, probably was a good thing. And then as they're riding along, they have the song playing Hang On Sloop Bay. Hey, hang on, Sloop Bay. Sloop Bay, hang on. Yeah. I thought it was like a decent, good song choices, you know, especially the, I like this the song. Hang on, Sloop Bay. So they get to this um, marketplace to stop by to, 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 to gas up, and um, Botat is thirsty. They, they take her to the fountain to drink. When she sees a a man pulling a a cart of bananas, goes after it, and and Cornemic and Dougie Doug was like, "Hey, help us!" and and like um, Rayleigh really gives like a little bit of a, a smart like, <laughs> and causes a big mess and. They, the boat has like you know running through the uh, toppling over other things and causes a mob to go after them. And uh, uh, Danny Glover sees um the guy uh, Quain, which he is says the you know the soldiers go on his command. He drops his, his big uh, phone and the elephant steps on it and. And as and as as the mob is chasing them, um, they're trying to get they're trying to make make it to the truck and um, court uh, Dougie Doug is on it, but uh, Court Nemec is far behind and they stop and he jumps on, but he lands in a pile of elven elven crap. Which yeah, I know that's which yeah, I don't know, I probably because I cause probably thought the thing is funny, but at the same time, it's like you know yeah, you have to of course he has to throw in like a crap a crap joke. Oh, cause, cause you know he's on the flatbed. Of course, takes a huge dump on it, and yeah. But part of me has to laugh because, but especially when, um, you know, with Densler, he's laughing at him when he falls into it, and then when the truck takes off, he falls into the in, into the into the pile of crap. And Dougie Dog, he's just laughing. That part of me probably they probably think it's funny because <laughs> Dennis Larry, and you know, he's see Dougie Dog, he's the one who's laughing at Dennis Larry for, <laughs> yeah. But I guess they didn't, uh, pardon me, yeah, I think it's funny, but at the same time, he ended up throwing a, uh, an elephant, uh, showing, you know, someone falling in elephant crap. So they get to the bridge, the, the truck breaks down, and Poole, he's like walking on it, he's walking on his own, and he's like, that's it, I've had it. You know, our plane that almost crashed, I came this close, been killed by an angry mob, and now, look at my uniform, it's covered in elephant crap, because all the times, like, um, Dan Glover is like threatened. He's like, you know, when we call um, General um, Richardson, and he's like, and he's like, well, you think I'd give a damn, um, Dennis Larry? Well, you think I'd give a damn why you call General General Richardson and tell him that I slept with his wife? And then Rayleigh really was like, oh, wait, 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 you slept with a man of General, uh, uh, um, what was it? Well, Fred was the first name. Um, General, like God, Sor kill them all, like God, sort of Richardson. And he's like. That was his daughter. Oh yeah, he would have been fine with that. <laughs> so then, um, then uh, Danny Glover and Randy Rayleigh gets a little of, a, of an argument where they think Rayleigh thinks they can blow um, blow the bridge so they won't be able to follow us. But Danny Glover says no because people will use this bridge every day. He's like, no guys, I'll let you don't think things through. And they have a little bit, uh, not much of a struggle uh, or scuffle, I would say. And then they see a boat, which um, Danny Glover knows, 
And it's actually played by the guy who drives the boat is, um... Um, I, I, I can't pronounce this guy's name, but I know I've seen him in films. He was he was the bad guy in Kiss of the Dragon with Jet Li. Um, but he was also he was also in the core. But I, but I mostly remember him from Kiss of the Kiss of the Dragon with Jet Li. Um, he was a good bad guy in that film. He's the guy who who's who ha, who has this boat. But I was like, oh, I was like, oh yeah, I remember him. He was from Kiss. He was from Kiss of the Dragon. And I, and I and I like him. I don't know how he's, he hasn't done many films though, but still, but and probably he's well known for playing in that role as the crooked cop, Kiss the Dragon. Um, and Ray Liotta, he he's like he's like um, he he's he's like all mad because he's like, what did I do? What did I do? You know, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to be on a, on a mission with a group of crack commandos. Instead, I'm in an episode of Mc, of Mikel's Navy. Starring Dumbo, Mr. French, and the Three Stooges. Yeah, this is funny, really, really because I know feel, every time I watch him in this film, I'm, I'm waiting for him to like to curse or something, but I can't because it's a Disney film. Yeah, but I'm saying like starring, Mr. starring Dumbo, Mr. French, and the Three Stooges. And then an, an enemy, and then the enemy boats with uh, Quang, you know, leading. They're firing their bombs at them. And uh, Rayla was telling the driver, you know, give a moving target zigzag, and it's causing Botad to get seasick. She pukes, and even and, and the, the guy, the the soldier guy, Quang, he's looking at the binoculars, and he's like, I know he's, he's probably saying he's like, okay, what? Which means that was like disgusting. <laughs> and so they call, so they call for um for backup to destroy their boat, and. And when Quan is looking through them, they, they see Dougie, they see, you know, Dougie Doug, he's like waving at them, tells them to jump up the boat, and then the boat explodes, which is a good explosion of the boat exploding. Wasn't CG. Actual boat blowing up. And as they're, as, as they're passing through the, the jungle, and it's raining, um, Lynn goes up to the, Lynn goes, well, goes up by himself to the village, you know, asking directions, and gets captured and Danny Glover and Dennis Larry they're gonna go off to save him while because the Courtney make was like kind of learning how the 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 commands for the um that Lynn was teaching them for that for you know telling where both had to go but it goes off on his own not to can't remember what he remembers but they they get they, they get they get Lynn as they head back to the base um but then the, the the major, the guy from Elm Street Part Two, tells him the mission has been canceled. So Danny Glover, he was he was gonna go on his own, but Ray Liotta says, "Well, I'll go together. Let's go together." So they plan to take a plane, get some parachutes and stuff like that, and load them on. To they're basically going to go in the airplane to drop, um, you know, skydive and drop uh, Bill Tot. Like it says, Operation, uh, like Operation Dumbo Drop, you know, just drive by with a parachute. So, they get, they're, they get shot at, though, and, and, uh, the, the first three, like, and Courtney and uh, Dougie Doug and Desley, they jump up first, and, um, Desley, he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't want to do it, but they both track him out, I was like, I'm a guy who, who, who works behind a desk! And they, they, um, uh, then Botag goes next, but the the thing got shot was supposed to as soon as she uh, gets off the thing rips up the parachute, but it breaks off. So really, I dives in to you know to hold onto it. Then he pull yanks it himself. This big old parachute, and Danny Glover takes Lynn. Um, and then um, Quang he he sees his man they're waiting for him to shoot the elephant down, but he tells him to let it go. Saying that, um, you know, I didn't join this army to shoot elephants, especially the ones that fly. So he, so he lets them go, and they land safely into the village. And while the the colonel Nagin and some of his men come in, they're going to shoot the elephant. And well, um, Dougie Dougie got separate from the elephant, got separate from the the others, and he hears them, so he creates a distraction because yeah, shoots. I was like, drop your weapons, drop, drop them. 
and they beat some of the guys up, and the elephant, uh, the elephant grabs the colonel, and to they go on with the ceremony, and then uh, Danny Glover gets tells Rayleigh really that um, capturing some of the uh, uh, Nigan and his man makes you a hero, but um, they move um, that the 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 village is still you, so they tell Rayleigh really to stay, so. And the, everyone says their goodbye to him. And Rayleigh really gives a salute to um, to Danny Glover. And the and I watched another thing I thought was kind of a thing that brings a smile to my face that um, uh, Rayleigh really, really just walks in, just walks in the walks with, in the village with Bo Tad, and you hear as the film's ending, you hear the crows from Dumbo. You know, saying about the singing the song of elephants can fly. <laughs> yeah, I've seen all that too. I've seen a peanut stand, heard a rubber band. I've seen a needle that winked its eye. But I've be done seeing not everything when I see an elephant fly. When I see an elephant fly. Yeah, this is just hey, because it's about it's about an el it's a Disney film with an elephant, so of course they have to they have to bring in Dumbo, because hey, the, the elephant can fly. It flew well, didn't actually fly though, but still, I guess flown by parachutes. It kind of makes it sound like it was flying, <laughs> but yeah, I I enjoy this film. I oops, I had I had fun with this while growing up watching it. I do enjoy the cast. I enjoy Danny Glover. I enjoy Ray Liotta, Dennis Leary, Dougie Doug, Courtney Mc. They were, they still did fine as well. Um, for 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 a film that's like a a kids a version of a war film because it's in the Vietnam War. It's it's still and it has has some good comedy, good chuckles. I had I had, I had fun with it and just. Uh, Joel Siegel from ABC TV has all says a lot of laughs. I got chuckles from it, as, which means I did have fun with it. Um, and I also forgot as, as for the other supporting cast members, um, the guy from Kiss the Dragon. It was nice to see him in there. And actually, I forgot the guy. Um, I forgot um, the guy who they were negotiating to buy the elephant from. That's actually that's actually uh, James Hahn. I forgot. What was it? I, forget, I remember like is that James Hahn? Because he had the. The uh, little the hat with the long beard. I was like, oh yeah, that that is James Hahn. You know, Lo Pan from Big Trouble Little China. It's always a good thing. I like James Hahn. He also voiced um Poe's father, in well, the Goose Father or say in the Kung Fu Panda films. I like James Hahn as an actor. He's a really good actor, especially when he played me memorable as Lo Pan in Big Trouble Little China. I love that movie to death. Lo love Big Trouble in China. But yeah, it's, it's always it's always a good to, to see uh, James Hong. Yeah, I was like I forgot that he was the guy when they were buying the elephant from. Yeah, that, that's James Hong. But yeah, that, but I like the but it was nice spell to see nice to see the guy from um, Kiss the Dragon. It's just hard it's hard to pronounce his name. Techie Caroyo. Chewed chewed up that name now. But still, but I but I still had fun with this film. I, I enjoyed the cast. Some of the, the song choices I liked, and you know, give me some love in and hang on, Sloop. And especially it was nice to hear the love. I loved it when I heard the the crows from Dumbo at the end of the movie. Um, it's on for 108 minutes, but it's very well paced. The, and the, besides the songs, the score by David Newman was there. It was it was fine. I don't think. I don't think it was not that bad of a score. It was it was decent. Um, but yeah, I just I had fun with, I had fun with the film. The film didn't do all that well. Sadly, sad to say, it made it made it made twenty four. It, it came out it came out at a rough time during the summer because at the time we had Pocahontas, Apollo thirteen, Batman Forever. You know. During the during the the month in July, it was um it was it was uptight for that because we had all these big films, um, 
but it, it made twenty. It made, it made twenty four million. I guess the, I guess the budget was twenty four as well. So I guess it made it back the budget, but it wasn't that, that big of a hit. Sad to say. And I don't think it's not that bad. Deserve a four thirty one percent Rotten Tomatoes or four point nine. I think it's too low for this film. Yeah. And which they were the and and of course they they were in which um not army but they were the green berets it's just uh forgot to mention they they were gr uh, green berets but yeah it was it was a fun watching this film growing up I I enjoy the film enjoy the cast I have fun with it enjoy Danny Glover Ray Liotta Dennis Leary. So yeah, that's my review for Operation Dumbo, Dumbo Drop. If you haven't seen this, check it out. I, I would recommend it. Especially any, anything good for a lot of things for the 90s live action Disney films. And, and I'll probably say, I, I, I'm, I'm, for a film that starts with an, that involves with an elephant, I, I, I like this better than, cause I, like, grew with it. I liked it better than uh, Larger Than Life. You know, that was the one I reviewed with um, with Bill Murray. With the elephant, excuse me. I like to consider a film involved with an elephant. I consider I like this more because I grew up more with this film. But I like Larger Than Life. I like I like Bill Murray, especially. I love Matthew McConaughey. He's, I think he's a hoot in that film, playing as an an idiot trucker, tip tucker, tip top trucking. But I still I still enjoy Larger Than Life though. Still regardless though, like I enjoy this more with more with uh, involving with an elephant because I grew up with the film more. But. Yeah. But that's my review for Operation Dumbo Drop. I recommend it. Check it out if you haven't seen it. You'll get a good amount of chuckles if you like elephants. And especially if you like any of any of these actors here. <laughs> it's just funny with Ray Liotta. Every time I watch this film, I expect him to swear because he's a guy, an actor, all the films he's been in, you know, swearing up a storm. But it's a Disney film, so he had to limit on that. <laughs> Or you try to be like Joe Pesci in Home Alone, you know, saying, <laughs> But yeah. Operation Dumbo Drop. I enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned on the next movie review. Later.